Albuquerque Comic Con 2017. And we're here to check out everything. That's right. Cosplayers, guests, Ric Flair, woo! Of course, Barb, the beautiful, bodacious Barb. Justice for Barb, hashtag, right? And Kel Mitchell, who loves orange soda. That's right. And I got the can to prove it. And me. From Comic Book Men, and many, many more. And pay overpriced for food. That's right. I am not going to buy what they're cooking. Thor's first name? I thought it was Thor Odinson was his whole name. Yeah, this is his full name, yeah. All right. That's a great question. Okay. I'm Pablo Connor. Here at Albuquerque Comic Con 2017, and I'm here to tell you why I'm right. The Final Fantasy VII is the greatest Final Fantasy VII of all time, and why? Tone bone hair. How dare you! Man. All right, cool. Pablo Gunner here to tell you why I'm right that Final Fantasy VII is the greatest Final Fantasy game of all time. Number one reason, Tifa. Mm -mm -mm. She looks so good and she's a badass to boot. I'll, I'll do that one again. Last but not least, Sephiroth, of course. Also, one of the greatest villains in video games of all time. Okay. This one doesn't even need a number applied to it because it's Cloud Strife. Easily the most recognizable and iconic Final Fantasy character of all time, as well as video games, period. And you know the reason why? One of them, his Buster Sword. Awesome. So I'm Pablo Gunner here to tell you why I'm right. The Final Fantasy VII is the best Final Fantasy. What do you think about that? You know, I actually think Final F Fantasy VII was one of the best until Final Fantasy XV came along. Shame, shame, shame. Why? Well, because. <sighs> I have to articulate the words that I need to think in a minute. Was it the bromance? No, it wasn't the bromance. It was the fighting action. Oh. Like, you know, the battle sequence and how it kind of brought back reminiscence of Devil May Cry oh. and kind of some of the others that it wasn't the RPG or not the RPG. It wasn't the turn-based um, that we were all so familiar with, especially fans of Seven. Right. So it was something new, and the bromance kind of, it did bring it home a little okay, bit. Okay. It was a brand new story. It was something that I think some of us who had stopped playing after 10 were really, really, really looking for. And it just made, I mean, I cried. I cried for hours and hours after it was over. And that's what I look for in a Final Fantasy game. Okay. It's, be, it's been dethroned, it sounds like, but it'll make a return with the remake. So, so I'm hope I'm hoping so. All right, get out of here. <laughs> okay, you're looking forward to the remake? Oh yeah, we're really excited about it. Okay, awesome. Thank you. <laughs> Tone bone, you're up. Now, now we, we've all enjoyed Seven, uh, the characters, but uh, I think we can all agree that the, uh, the graphics, even for their time, they could have tried better. Thank you. Okay, awesome. Thank you very much. You're entitled to your own opinion, but obviously you can see why <laughs> Final Fantasy is the greatest Final Fantasy game, right? Number seven. Tifa right here. Thank you. Thank you. Pablo Gunner here with my Twi'lek friend. JD. 
And we are all wrapped up here at the Albuquerque Comic Con. We had such a blast. We are wasted. Uh, we're totally wasted off of blue milk. That's right. We had such a blast. Hope you did too. And we hope to see you at the next one. Yes.